Hey everyone, Mark Luber here from Careers Out There. You can find me at careersoutthere.com. I recently interviewed Allison Meyerson. She's the Vice President of Retail at House of Blues Entertainment, where she's worked for the past 17 years. I asked Allison to walk us through what retail buyers do. Here's a look at how that went. Can you walk us through some real life examples so we can see some scenarios that play out on each of those things you said? Yeah, uh, so, you know, weekly or even daily, uh, retail buyers are gonna be looking at uh, reports from the stores that with sales information and then they're going to be analyzing that information to judge what needs to be reordered, when it needs to be reordered, what's the lead time that we have with different vendors, um, you know, in different product categories, if items are being produced frequently, uh, they're being produced domestically, they're going to have a shorter time frame. If they're being produced um, offshore, they're going to have a longer uh, time frame for production. So all of these things weigh into, you know, the, the analysis and the decisions that the, the buyers are making, as well as, of course, how well the product's selling. And, um, and then if it's, if it's not selling as well, then there's another set of decisions to make in terms of, you know, does this need to be marked down? Do we, or, you know, or is it selling better in one location and not another? Do we need to transfer it somewhere? You know, what, anything that's going to give your stores the, um, the, their maximum revenue potential. And that's because, let's say, a certain hat might be really hot in Boston, but in Chicago nobody likes it. Is that, that happens, that kind of thing? That does happen, absolutely. I would, I would tell you that, in my experience, m most best-selling products are best-selling products everywhere. But there are certain things you know, anomalies here and there that for some reason gangbusters in Las Vegas or, you know, somewhere else and, and don't sell as well in other places. So, yeah, and, and those are some of the things that if they've been around a, a little while, you know that and you have some of that history, but when they're new products, um, that's always something that you're kind of looking to fine tune and tweak. I hope this video was helpful for you guys. If you liked it, please click the thumbs up. And if you want to learn more about the career path, you can find the full interview at careersoutthere.com where we interview professionals from all kinds of career paths about what they do so we can help you find a career that fits you and you can love what you do. You can also find us at Facebook, Twitter, and lots more videos here on YouTube. Thanks again for watching, everybody. I'm Mark Luber. Look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care.